Hey Sporklers! Today we're going to go over how to make a simple, classic type quiz. If you already have an account and a quiz idea in mind, the first thing you need to do is hit the Create tab on the top ribbon. The Game Management dashboard will show up and show all of your quizzes and drafts. Since we haven't made a quiz yet, we're going to hit this Create a Sporkle Quiz button to get started with our first. You'll be navigated to this screen, which asks for some basic information about your quiz. The game name is what will appear at the header of your quiz. Don't worry, you'll be able to change this info later if you make a mistake. If your quiz idea has already been made by another user, it'll appear in the box below. This one showed up since it has a similar title, but it includes fruit which we obviously don't care about, so we're in the clear. Game type is classic by default, so that's perfect for what we're doing today. Now we're ready to click create game and start making our quiz. The Game Info tab, which we're on right now, has plenty of features you can tinker with, but we'll just go over the most important ones today. The first two rows are where you can change the game type or game name that you entered in the last screen. The description is the big text that appears when someone clicks on the quiz, and should give the player a good idea of what's expected of them. It automatically has a text, can you name the, in it, which is perfect for our quiz. We're just going to tweak this a little bit. The game timer specifies how long people will have to complete the quiz. Our quiz is going to be pretty short today, so we only need about a minute. Our hint will become the header of the first column on our quiz, so since that column will hold our descriptions, we're going to make this header description. Similarly, we're going to change the heading for the answers column to vegetable. Now, Sporkle has different categories set out to help quiz players find content they're interested in. Putting your quiz in the right category helps users with similar interests find your quiz. Since our topic doesn't really fit with any of Sporkle's preset categories, we're going to put this quiz in the miscellaneous category. We're going to save our changes really quickly and then move on to the next tab. The next tab we'll need for our quiz is the data tab. This is where we'll input all of our hints and answers. You can see that the headers we put in the last tab now appear as the column headers here. We only have six vegetables for people to guess today, so down here we'll click to add six rows to our table. Now we've already prepared all of our vegetable descriptions, so we're just going to copy and paste them into the description column. The middle column is where to put the answers that we want to accept. This first description is for broccoli, so we'll type that in here. And then carrot, cabbage, turnip, chard, and bok choy. It's possible to accept multiple answers for one hint. For example, I know that in some places, chard is called silver beet. So I'll add silver beet in as an alternate for that question. To add an alternate, just type a forward slash between the first and second answers. Now, both chard and silver beet will be accepted for number five. As you enter, you don't need to save anything in this tab. Everything you enter here is immediately saved onto your quiz. The Style tab is great for changing the colors of your quiz. Since our quiz is so vegetal, I think we should change this to a nice green color scheme. Clicking on these boxes pulls up a color selection tool that we can use to change the look of our quiz. Now I think we have this quiz looking pretty nice, but our column widths could definitely use some editing. Since our descriptions are rather long and our answers are quite short, we'll make the description box bigger by moving the slider on the bottom. There we go, that looks much better. So we save our style changes, and just like that, our quiz is ready to play. To see how your quiz turned out before contributing it, you can use the Test Quiz button on the top of the creation area. Now play through your quiz, and if you think it's up to snuff, you can contribute it by clicking Edit, and then going to the Finish Up tab. Click on Launch Game to the Public, and now everyone can play your quiz. If this video was super helpful for you, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and check out our blog tutorials for clickable slideshow and other quiz formats. If you have any requests for future how-tos, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Good luck!